today I'm going to be making one of those um, clamshell, like the open clamshells that sit like this on the top of a cake and you put seashells around it and stuff inside it. So it's basically an open clamshell cake topper. So I'm going to start with some, this is I think fondant and gum paste. It really should be made out of gum paste or something stiff because you want it to dry fairly hard. This is the kind of thing I would not ship because it's going to just break. But if you're making it for yourself, that's okay. This is a two-piece um, silicone clamshell mold. I sell these in my shop, so I'll put the link to it in the description of this video. Basically just roll the fondant or gum paste out. I'm just gonna say gum paste, because it should be gum paste. Roll it out, put it in there. Really gonna give this a good press. And this is gonna make the inside part of the shell for the top, the section that sticks up. And you're going to take a little knife, just cut this out. You can cut the fondant a little smaller if you want to begin with, so you have less cutting. But I find this is just easier. You don't have to worry about getting the amounts exactly right, because you can just trim it. All right, and then just give the edge a little squeeze to kind of make that less cut-like. Cut okay, so there you've got that. And you might want to trim this a little bit just to take that edge off of it. You know how clamshells are kind of rounded on the end, so you, know, you can do this. Do whatever you want. It's going to be standing up. So this is going to be the piece that stands up in the back like that. So that's going to stand up on the top of the cake. Now you want to leave this in the um, mold to dry. So leave this. This might take a couple of days, so don't think that this is the kind of thing, don't think you know you can do this the day before you need it. Make sure that you give yourself time. I get a lot of people asking me for things last minute. That's not good planning. Because sometimes you just can't get it done that short a time. You have to give things time to dry. All right, so we have the inner part. Now we need the part that's going to stand up behind it like this. So when you put them together, it's a standing clamshell and it will sit on top of the cake. For this part, um, no, actually, you know what? No, I, I was right. Okay, so this stands up. I just held it up the wrong way. This stands up, and this is going to go like that. I confused myself for a minute. Okay, so this is the one that you want to be detailed on both sides, and that's why you're doing this one first and leaving that. For this one, it only needs to be detailed on the side that's going to be showing, which is going to be like this when you mold it and flip it over. So the part that sits on the cake, it doesn't need to be detailed at all. So for this, what you're going to do, I'm not even going to roll this out. I'm just going to press this onto the mold, kind of in the shape of the clam. And I'm going to leave this thicker in the back part here because that's going to sit on the cake and kind of level it out. And I'm going to turn this over and flatten this out like this. Now that's a little too thick, so I'm going to remove some of this. You want this back part to have kind of a squared off shape so that it's going to balance the whole setup once you get it all put together. All right, so I'm going to press that down and see how this is kind of squared off. So that's going to stand up like that when it's on the when it's all put together. So you want it to be this doesn't have to be pretty. Nobody's going to see the side of it. You want this side to be flat so that it's going to sit on the cake. And you want this part of it in the back to be kind of flattened out. And what's going to happen is you're going to dry this and you're going to put this part up against that part here. I'll take this off. Okay, so you, that's the inner part. You're going to take this and attach this here once everything dries. For now, I'm going to just leave this. You're going to leave this on the mold again. Just leave it on the mold to dry once it's all flattened out. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to come back in a couple of days and finish this once this whole thing dries. Because you want to make sure it's good and solid before you try to put it together or else the whole thing will just collapse. It needs to be pretty stiff and dry and ready to attach. So these have dried for a few days, and if I was going to put these together, there are a few ways that you can do it. So instead of actually doing one way, I'm going to just tell you 
the different ways that you could do it because then you can choose which one is best for your project. So first, you could just take some melted white chocolate or you know gum glue or whatever you want to do. I would use the melted white chocolate because that stuff dries hard as a rock and it's it's pretty strong. So you have the base. This is the base with no design on one side. That's going to sit flat on the cake. This is the upright part and this has the design on both sides. And it has the texture. If I can turn around. It has the texture on both sides. So this is the one that's going to stand up this way so that if somebody walks around to the back of it they'll see that. So you want to attach this to this and you know when you're making this you could make this longer to give you more of a base and it could actually hit the base of the cake or you could just build it up with a little gum paste now so you're going to either take the white chocolate and put it here and put that there and then just hold oops don't do that just hold it in place until it hardens up and that will work just fine as long as you then go back in and kind of reinforce this here kind of fill in all the cracks that will work um, but I wouldn't do that if it's a situation where the topper is going to be outside in the heat because chocolate melts. Um, you know, just keep keep the environment the cake is going to be in in mind when you're choosing which method to use. All right, the second method would be when you're making this part to actually make this thicker around the base and insert a skewer into it so that you can then take this, put that on the cake. You don't even have to attach this one to this. You can just take that and just stick it directly into the cake and it'll be solid there. It'll look like a two-piece thing, but it's it's not really attached, but it's inserted into the cake, so it's not going to move. That would be a good option to use if you're giving the cake to someone to take themselves and you're not delivering it and you want it to be a little more sturdy, or if you're just worried that the chocolate isn't going to work and it's not going to stay in one piece, and that way um, it's a little sturdier and it's attached to the cake, so it's not going to jiggle around. All right, the third way to do it, uh, just take some take some extra gum paste, and I kind of mentioned this before, kind of build up a little base around here with the gum paste, and then you can just stick that right into it and just let it all dry. So probably if I was going to do one of these toppers, I would do a combination. So I would do the skewer into the cake and then put some chocolate here to keep it from doing this. Um, but it's it's the kind of thing where you just need to kind of think how the topper is going to be used on the cake and what conditions it's going to be in and that kind of thing and make your decision from there. And I've also got on my Facebook page a little video about how to paint the inside of this, but the best way to do it is just to get a picture of a clamshell and copy the colors from that because it's not a solid color and a lot of times it looks a lot different than you think and if you do it the way that a real clamshell looks then it'll look more realistic. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, leave them and I will answer them as soon as I get a chance and have fun making a little topper. And you can do that and then put like, I've seen the little, you know, little molded baby, or you can put a mermaid or just other shells. You can pile other shells up around it. And actually, if you do that, you can glue some shells to this section and kind of make that reinforcement also. So that's it. And uh, my next one, I will finish up with the little acorns that I did the other day.